Hello, I'm at GuffinHouse.com. This is Leo from Weston Snowboards, and he's going to walk us through the 2020 Logger. The Logger. This is a board that uh, kind of stood out right away to me because of the awesome graphic. Uh, this is an all-mountain deck, uh, two twin shape. Yep. What's the story behind the deck? Well, the sto story behind the deck is the story behind logging culture. Um, this is, <laughs> you know, riding down trees is something that, you know, we do a lot over in the Rockies. And, you know, being able to handle the terrain to get to those down logs mm. is, you know, you have to have a board that'll get you there as well as, you know, lock onto the log that you are, you know, trying to clean. So, yeah, that's essentially the story behind the logger. So we built this board especially for uh, that type of riding, which really fits between, you know, all mountain, um, you know, kind of freestyle feel to it as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's got a fantastic graphic and then a flat profile shape. But what you what, what you were explaining is that it has just a little bit more energy, a little bit more pop yeah. than most regular flat style exactly. boards. Exactly. Yeah, because you know, to in order to give the uh, give it a little bit more pop, like mm. to have the feel of like the pop of a camber board, we added uh, carbon stringers to this board that not just goes. Um, you know, just between the base and mm. the wood, it actually goes up, you know, closer to the top sheet, back down in, you know, it's, you know, we've been calling it our S weave. And really what it does is it gives the, it gives the carbon stringers some more energy mm. in, into the pop. So cool. you have essentially the pop of a camber board uh, without losing the profile of that, of, of a flat, a flat. Board. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. that's, that's one, one issue that I've always ran into. And I think a lot of people run into about riding flat boards mm -hmm. is that they, they still have pop, but it's not as good as a camber board. Right. But you're adding a, a very unique layup uh, process mm -hmm. to make it feel a little bit more like like yeah, a camber deck. Exactly, it gives right. the best of both worlds, really. Right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So yep. there's two there's two uh, stringers of carbon. Uh, yep. They run between the insert packs and the rails on on both sides, of course. Mm -hmm. But like Leo was saying, it kind of weaves through the wood core. So it starts at the bottom. Yep. Goes up. Yep. Over the top. Yep. Down again. Exactly. Along the bottom, up, over, and then back through yeah. the bottom. So that, kind of a double S weave. But yeah. 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 But there is no one else in snowboarding doing that. That's pretty really cool. Yeah. I, not that I know of. Yeah, I know. I, know I, I think. Too, so. I think I know. Yeah. yeah. I don't think anyone's doing it. Yeah. That's well, pretty cool. Yeah. Was that your idea? Whose idea was that? Oh no, it's our it's our engineers. <laughs> yeah. Tell them good job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's so, really unique. Yeah. Yeah. So on the bottom side though, we have a a, a centered style base. Yep. Okay. Is it is this a flip flop base where it changes color depending on what size or what's the story no, with that? No, it's just uh just a die cut base. Okay. You know, we try to keep it simple. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. it's it's really you know the factory does an incredible job mm -hmm. you can barely even tell that it's a die cut you know it's yeah like practically looks like a sublimated graphic or feels like a sublimated graphic mm -hmm. but you have the the essentially the durability too so. right and now there's a single side cut radius everything is kind of centered on the board mm -hmm. um obviously it's going to ride really well in um in groomed trails and you know, pristine kind of controlled conditions, you know, in yeah. the park, of course, you know, you could take it there and have fun. Yeah. How does it, how does it feel uh, when you're taking to some deeper snow? Like you guys are based out of Colorado, you yeah. get an opportunity to ride some deep stuff. How does this thing feel? Uh, oh, you got and still get steep. Absolutely. I mean, you got to be able to take this thing everywhere. You know, that's why it really leans more towards an all mountain board. Okay. Uh, than like you know a freestyle jib, you know jibby board. Mm. You know, it's more in that mid flex um, mm. range. Sure. So it's it's really you know for people that do spend a decent amount of time on resort that will still cruise through the parks. Right. Um, but yeah, it has you know with that flat profile, mm. it does definitely has enough board to handle once you get into into the pow and the trees and you know awesome man well it's, it's really cool to see there's a flat profile it's got some s carbon triax fiberglass lots of energy without the without the catchy contact points of a classic camera board yeah yeah wow i was stoked on this one yeah man cool well we're actually going to be on snow tomorrow hopefully we'll overlay some videos of us riding this deck so leo thanks for being out here man absolutely yeah stoked. thank you for watching uh remember to leave a comment or question let us know what you think of the, the logger from weston and uh yeah check out the links below subscribe over there check out more videos there and hopefully we'll see you on snow peace